today we're going to be reviewing the X Rocker gaming chair. I got it on Amazon for a cheap 50 bucks and it looks pretty good. It's uh it's one of the ones that has speakers in the sides and you can plug it up to your gaming system and everything and I'm going to show you the materials. Okay, so first of all, we have these little cables right here that basically plug into the RCA, you know, the red and white um, things to make the sound go through. And how this works is you connect your RCA cables to these two, or the, or the audio um, RCAs. And what you do is you, you plug these into these just like that, you gotta match it. And then what you do is after that, you have to have one of your PS3 RCAs, you know, that you used to view it, the red, white, and yellow cables to go to your PS3. You plug the white, red, or red, I'm sorry, red and white um, RCAs into the opposite sides. See, it's two sided. And then you plug this green one into the side of your chair, which is over here. So you plug it into this green one right here. Yeah, right there. And that's how you connect to the chair. And once you connect the TV here, I'll show you that right quick. I connect the yellow one back here, the yellow one, to the um, video. And I connect this red and white to that down there. That's how that works. And now you obviously have your power cable that plugs into the wall to turn your DX rubber on. And basically that's all the materials that you have or that you really need. And okay, first you want to set your your X rocker up like it needs to be set. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn back here to the back, and you're gonna throw all these things in here like this. You're just gonna pull the top up. the back. It's Velcro so it'll go on just basically by itself. Turn it around. And this is the overlook of the chair. Looks really nice. Feels very, very comfy too. It's also got the speakers on the sides. Let's see if we shot that pretty quick up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right up here. It's going on over here too. Here is where all your main controls are. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna be seeing how you put, plug all this stuff up first. Okay. And what you're gonna do first is, of course, you wanna put your power cable in first. So you're gonna take this side and plug it into this very first square kind of thing right there. You're gonna plug it into that one. So you're gonna plug this part into the wall. Reach up right quick. And then your DX truck will be able to turn on. Okay. And then this is so what we're gonna have to do with these. You're gonna take this RCA, this is the RCA cord. You're gonna take the green port and plug it also into the green port. Right there. You're gonna take the opposite ends and then you're gonna take your other connectors right here and then you're gonna take make sure it's, it's the right color this is red so you're gonna plug it into the red and you're gonna take the white and plug it into the white just like that hold on okay now what you want to do is you're gonna take this things we just plugged in and then you're gonna take the RCAs in the back of your TV and you're gonna plug them into the red and white cables hold on focus to get into the red and white cables and you're gonna have to connect them like that and that's what connects the that to this that's how that works so let me do that right quick okay now I have those connected and those went up to my PS3 and you're gonna put the yellow port right here that comes from your PS3 you're gonna leave that one there and you're just gonna put turn this back around 
fan first of all. If you want to use, if you want to have like HDMI video output, then you're going to need an HDMI cable for that. And if you do have one, you just simply plug that in, and I'll show you exactly how to hear the ring RCAs out of your DX or your X Rocker and see 1080p on your PlayStation. Okay, first you want to make sure your, DX, your X Rocker is on, but you click this one. And just by the way, this is this is the volume, and this is the bass. I always keep mine up because it really doesn't make much difference. And uh, it's also got a headphone jack as well, right there. So if you wanted to put some headphones in, you can easily just plug them in right there, just like that, and you can listen to it straight through your phone or headphone doesn't matter. And by the way, it sounds really, really good. Okay, now what you want to do is to if you have an HDMI cable, then you can you you can still view your PlayStation like experience in 1080 in 1080p, but you can also listen through through your X Rocker with these RCAs that also come with your PlayStation when you buy it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. You want to go to the settings on your XMD bar and then you're going to need to go to sound settings and then you want to go to audio output settings and then from there I would click HDMI because I have an HDMI cable but if you don't have one then you would click this one but this was the one you would originally use for me and yeah automatic And then once you're back here, you want to go to audio multi output. And if that's off, you want to turn that on if you have an HDMI cable. That way you can have you can hear it through all of like everything. Okay, now what you're going to do is obviously you're gonna you obviously want to have this on at first, and then you're gonna turn it on, and then change the volume from there. That's the bass, and then. Basically, you can just, if you want to, you can turn your TV all the way down. That way, you can just hear through your, uh, your X Rocker over here. Or it, it doesn't really matter. And pretty much, I think that's it with the X Rocker. I would give it, out of the gaming chairs, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 because it is pretty good. It's got the speakers on the side. It's got, it's even got a headphone jack. It's got a bass changer, which really doesn't make a difference. That's probably why they get a 9. But, it's okay. It's really comfy. It's it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yeah, I would I would rate this one a pretty good rating of an eight out of ten. And as well, if you want to add me on PS3, this is my gamer deck right here. Just add me if you want to. And I also have a friend of mine that has a YouTube channel as well. But I know he'd want you to add him. He's not on right now, but he probably will be eventually. This is his gamer deck. We both play together all the time. If you want to play with both of us, you can. You can be in one of our videos. It really doesn't matter. 